summer is here and if you're planning to hit the road, it's important to keep in mind teen crashes increase during the summer season. Here with tips on how to keep our teens safe while on the road is Michelle Anderson with the National Road Safety Foundation. Hi, Michelle. Hi, good morning. So tell me, why do we see more auto accidents involving teens during the summertime? You'll see more car crashes during the summer months because kids are out of school and also they are taking the time to go to the beaches and to uh, be with their friends and also you have more daylight time for driving and so as a result the car crashes fight for teen drivers and that seems to be a problem nationally where you see that in the summertime what about here we're in california where do we rank with the numbers well, in California, on average, about 400 people are killed every year involving a teen driver. And so we're encouraging uh, parents to please, you know, make sure that you're having those teens buckle up and know the responsibility of the road. And nationally, on average, about seven teens die per day. Wow, that, that's a high number of things that we can actually prevent. Now, as a parent, I'm a mom. My kids aren't ready to drive yet. but. Should I be worried about my driving habits? Is that going to rub off on them? Is that something I need to be more mindful of? Absolutely. And we're doing a Safest Summer campaign, uh, and it's a social media campaign. And we're asking and encouraging parents as well as teen drivers to, do, to have certain responsibilities. So we're a parent. We're encouraging you to make sure that you're a good role model. Make sure that you're buckling up when you get in the car and putting that phone away and not answering those text messages and those emails. Um, we're also asking parents to communicate. The child is never too young that you can speak to them about safety and responsibility on the road. Uh, because what they see you do behind the wheel is what they're going to do when they get behind the wheel. That's a great point. Now. When our kids are ready to get their driver's license, you know, they're in their teen years, perhaps. When is it time to give them full access to driving privileges? I'm sure every situation is a little bit different, but how do we kind of ease into it? Well, I would encourage you to visit your local DMV to find out what the laws are in your state. Every state differs. And so I would encourage you to go to uh, your local DMV to find out what the graduated driver licensing laws are and there we'll be able to let you know uh, how what what age and what time they should be on the road how many passengers they can have on the road all of the laws that are needed for them to be a safe and responsible driver so that's called GDL the graduating driver license so make sure you know the requirements and, and what's required there what else should we be talking to our teens about when they're ready to get behind the wheel? I think it's really important, as I said, to be a good role model, but also encourage them and let them put into practice to buckle up, even if they're in the back seat. This will become an, a habit for them, that buckling their seatbelt. Um, also to encourage them to limit the passengers in their cars because that can create a distraction. And I know, you know, as parents, you want to take, ask your child to, you know, help you out by picking up the younger siblings and taking them to the other activities. And I understand that, I get it, but you really have to be mindful because their brain is not fully developed. And even though they have this license to drive, they still have to have a focus. It's a skill to drive a car. And when you have too much activity and you have so many people in the car, especially young people, um, it can be very distracting. So we're encouraging uh, teens and parents to make sure that you're limiting your passengers and limiting, limiting all distractions. Distractions, let's get rid of those. Now, um, you're running a campaign to make this the safest summer ever. Tell us about it. So the Safest Summer Ever is a campaign that we are doing with the best youth group in the nation, SAD, Students Against Destructive Decisions. And we are teaming up to do a big, huge social media push. We started this 100 Deadliest Days campaign on Memorial Day weekend, and it's through the Labor Day weekend. And each day on our social media platforms, we're giving out tips, helpful tips, that will be able to encourage that young driver how to handle 
their vehicle and how to be a responsible driver. And we also give some tips to the parents as well. So you can find all of those tips on our social media platforms. And for SAD, it is SAD Nation. And for the National Road Safety Foundation, it is NRSF Org. All right, Michelle, great information. Let's keep those teens safe on the road. Let's keep everyone safe on the road this summer. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.